Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Furness and this is StarCraft 2. Today we have a Terran vs Terran spawning on the top left corner of Coda. It is Scandinavian who is currently clanless. And on the bottom right corner of the map playing for Dust Gaming it is the Walrus. I got this game off of StarCraft 2 uh, Reddit cast it and it looks like we already have something shady going on Walrus is building that uh, 8 supply depot and going for something and uh, Scandinavian also running out and about with his uh, SCV so let's just see what these two fellows are doing they are both Masters League Terran um, Scandinavian is in Masters League for the third time. He has two Masters finish, and Walrus has seven Masters League finishes. So, looks like they're definitely both doing something shady. Walrus already has built the proxy barracks and is getting gas up. Scandinavian is looking around because he saw Walrus's, the Walrus's uh, SCV go by but he isn't quite sure what's going on and he is building his own proxy barracks so this should be fun Scandinavian does find the walruses building barracks so he will try to prevent that sending down a second SCV as well to uh, try to get this cancelled so we'll see if the walrus will be able to complete it his SCV is almost dead but oh he just finishes it just in time and has a reaper on the way on the other hand uh, Scandinavian is getting his gas a little bit later Walrus has already been mining for a while so he'll have his reaper up and going uh, Scandinavian currently does have the worker lead of 15 to 9 though the walrus did just build another one while he was building reapers and it looks like the walrus did scout Scandinavian's proxy barracks and he is getting up a tech lab so it looks like we might be seeing marauders or something because you no longer need the tech lab for reapers for a very long time Scandinavian did try to capture the reaper as it jumped in but unfortunately he did not have a tight wall of SCVs the reaper currently has not gotten any SCV kills but there is some pretty good micro going on by the walrus and looks like he will start getting kills now as he goes back after some of those low uh, SCVs that he hit before. And the proxy marauder is coming in. It looks like it's going to do some damage to the walrus's economy as well. So both these guys are microwing on two sides of the map. The walrus does keep his reaper alive and get down. They are currently even on workers with five workers killed for the walrus and now up to three killed for Scandinavian fortunately workers are not very good against marauders so Scandinavian will be able to keep absorbing these little drill pokes by the SCVs and he is microing that marauder pretty well and has a third one out now both of these guys though very low on workers now the walrus down to four scandinavian down to five and with these two reapers out the walrus is going to keep cleaning them up so oh scvs do get a uh, marauder kill and but it looks like the walrus might just lose all of his workers anyways so currently the walrus has out one, oh, no longer any SCV, so it's three Marauders against now four Reapers, but one more Marauder on the way. And, uh, got a little nice trash talking going on by Scandinavian. Both of them floating their command centers off into the ether. And, uh, so Scandinavian thinks he'll definitely win this. He has a fifth Marauder on the way well the walrus is currently not building anything and it is now five marauders two three and we have the offensive gg from scandinavian <laughs> and uh 
Walrus, I think, has the best possible response there. So he's going to scout around with his Reapers, see what he can find. I don't know, with perfect micro, with the health regeneration, the uh, Reapers could possibly do it, going after that uh, tech lab so that Marauder, or so that Scandinavian will not be able to get any more Marauders. And the Walrus is mining again. He has an SCVL running to the corner. Well, Scandinavian just uh, running after that. Ooh, that concussor shell. Those Reapers go down pretty quickly. Ooh, and Scandinavian did set a little trap. So the Walrus will be down to just one Reaper, one SCV, but both Reapers do go down. So it's up to Scandinavian to run around, see if he can find this hidden base. The Walrus is having a barracks file at the command center, so we can keep an eye on that. While Scandinavian runs around with his marauders, seeing what he can do. There's a factory building for the Walrus, so we'll see what he can get done with that. The walrus, or Scandinavian, catches another one of the Walrus's SCVs trying to run off. And it looks like he will find this mining base. <coughs> Scandinavian is now mining again as well with three mules dropped and uh, Walrus just building marines right next to Scandinavian's command center and the Walrus is lifting off again we have all sorts of random Terran buildings all over the map with uh, the Walrus building units wherever he can has widow mines out as well which will uh, could definitely do some damage as the uh, Scandinavian is going to want to be able to use all of his energy on mules. So the Walrus is now going back to his main base, thinking it'll be safe. Um, so right now, Scandinavian has definitely taken better trades. And uh, the Walrus decides not to go to his main base, but we'll just uh, stop outside instead probably try to start mining again. Scandinavian does have double the supply of the walrus, which is normally much more epic than uh, 10 to 5. But uh, Widowmine does get a kill on the Marauder, and uh, the walrus is starting to get up a pretty, pretty good marine count of 3 so far, and what will soon be 4. So currently Walrus just building marines and Scandinavian is building SCVs and actually decides to put down another command center. I guess he had the money for it and that's how he wanted to spend it but it does seem an interesting choice at this point when he could be building more units from his barracks which I believe could help. He did use a scan to kill the widow mine. So that's what he opted to do instead of using energy. Will definitely hurt his economy, though, if you can actually call it that. And he does have another Marauder chasing after the Walrus's command center as well. So it looks like the Walrus wants to bring his barracks and factory and float them right next to Scandinavian's command center. Over here in the Scandinavian's original natural the walrus did manage to cancel his building command center and we now have seven marines against two marines three marauders and five scvs and looks like scandinavian is re getting ready to defend but his bunker is not up in time and uh we'll see what happens oh it looks like the walrus might actually take this fight so close Oh, the last Marauder from Scandinavian gets there just in time to save the day. And with this bunker up, it's going to be a lot harder for the Walrus to make that push with only two Marines remaining. So Scandinavian definitely has the better potential economy right now with actually having workers up. Though it looks like the Walrus does want to finally start getting his own workers building again as well. So looks like both guys will be mostly happy to go back to their original bases. 
Looks like Scandinavian is ready for that potential base race again in the future and has a hidden supply depot off to the side. Walrus wants to start getting gas again, so he uses his one SCV to start building that. Let's see our income for our players right now. We have 500 to about 120. So you can see, drop it down there to almost zero for a second while that last mule had died. And so both players building up more SCVs. Scandinavian definitely has the lead right now both in army supply and worker supply so it's going to be tough for him to for uh, the walrus to come back Scandinavian does have an SCV scouting around to see if he can find any of the walrus's buildings but they are now back in his original base and natural walrus also now has a bunker up of his own and so now that this game has kind of almost normalized, but at least slowed down a little bit, we can talk about these players. So both of them have been playing a fair amount. Scandinavian already has 225 games in this season, and the Walrus has 321 in. Walrus has a 50.78% win rate overall, and Scandinavian has a 51.6% win rate. Overall, from their Battle.net profiles, I could see that the Walrus has 10,511 total games played in StarCraft II, and Scandinavian has 4,074. So perhaps the Walrus's vaster experience will help him out in this strange situation. But it will definitely be tough to come back. Looks like a Scandinavian wants to be safe against everything, maybe cloaked banshees, which the walrus is building right now. So we do have that missile turret coming up. So it looks like both guys trying to get their economies going back up again. So while Scandinavian is not on a team, the walrus is part of Dust Gaming, which is a North American team. Never had any results that are too, too notable, but they participate in StarCraft II Team Leagues, and the Walrus has participated in multiple MLGs back when there was StarCraft II at those. So yeah, both of these guys still just trying to build back, get back in that game. Walrus does have that Banshee coming out with Cloak, so we'll see if he's able to do any damage with that. Scandinavian does have his Starport on the way as well. Building it on the Tech Lab, so it looks like he'll want to get out that Banshee tech as well. Or perhaps once the Banshee gets there, he will want to get up a Raven for detection. Um... The Scandinavian did not see Walrus's cloaked Banshee, so while he somewhat expected it with his turret placement, he is not for sure that it is coming. So with some good micro from the Walrus, he could definitely get some SCV kills here and maybe even it up a little bit, but we still have that double army supply lead for Scandinavian. And one quick uh, turret hit will push Walrus's Banshee away. Looks like he will try to get some Marines, and there's currently not enough energy for a scan, but it looks like Walrus definitely doesn't want to risk it. Gonna go kill that leftover refinery from earlier. Looks like Walrus wants to re-expand into his main base, get that income up and going again. Despite Scandinavian's eagerness to build a second command center back when he had only three workers. He is not quite ready to do that again yet. And Walrus is going to switch into tank and most likely medevac production. And Scandinavian did get out that raven and was getting out medevacs as well. So it was a very exciting early part of the game. It's definitely slowed down some. Banshee uh, did scout out uh, 
Scandinavians refineries, just looking around the map, it just missed vision of the supply depot, so I was not sure that sure about that. So we'll see if that comes into play later on down the line, but there is some other sort of wonky base trade situation as we saw earlier. <clears throat> Still have about that 20 supply lead for Scandinavian as he keeps pumping out more units. Uh, both players pumping out tanks, currently 2 to 1 in Scandinavian's favor, with uh, two Banshees also going for the Walrus. And with the uh, Viking coming out for the out for the Walrus as well, he will have that slight air superiority. But the Marine count is definitely where the huge disparity is with 20 to 4. And actually, Scandinavian had halted his siege tank production for a little while. So, um, it was actually even, and the walrus is going to be slightly less behind than he was before. Um, so it looks like Scandinavian is moving out, it looks like he might want to elevate her into the base. And the walrus is only defending his natural right now, it doesn't really seem prepared for that. His tank goes down to half health as soon as it comes out. We have... Auto turrets going down with Scandinavian's army. Looks like he's definitely going to do some damage and probably force the walrus out of his main base. We have those SCVs taking some big hits, but not many actually went down. But the walrus is going to lose all the production in that area. So we're currently still two tanks to two. We have those two Banshees and two Vikings that could definitely help out the Walrus. These auto turrets last forever. So definitely some trading going on back and forth. Scandinavian still 20 supply ahead. Looks like he took the best of that. Actually picking up not really a great idea there. Let the Vikings get off some good hits and the Banshees evening things up a little bit with only 13 to 14 supply difference now instead of that 20 that it was before which right now for the walrus every little bit he can get definitely helps and Scandinavian finally getting up his second command center but uh, still not building any vikings of his own to try to get uh, air superiority back just building up more medevacs getting stem for his marines looks like he wants to win this with his bio force does have a widow mine out as well see they both do pretty good placement by the walrus if scandinavian does try to bust down his front door we do have some extra production facilities coming down for scandinavian so you can start pumping out even more marines and marauders since the walrus managed to lift up that base earlier, he is back landed down again and mining. Uh, with all these mules down, he actually has, and uh, Scandinavian's second base just now finishing, the walrus actually has a pretty good income lead at the moment. And the worker count has actually evened up pretty significantly. So extra tanks coming down for the walrus, it looks like he wants, or extra factories, looks like he wants to go into mech, there's a blue flame on the way, as well as additional siege, tank, siege tanks, and will be building more hellions, except that he has a pretty hard supply block at the moment with four supply depots just now going down. It's definitely tough, especially as we have, looks like another uh, push coming from Scandinavian that raven though he is able to avoid taking some heavy losses from the widow mine looks like the walrus might want to go hide something where is this fella going just going to look around see what we can see he will finally scout down this uh supply depot we have a big big drop coming in from scandinavian Looks to wants to come around back for the walrus's base. We do have pretty good tank spread and uh, definitely Vikings all around for the walrus. That's a big force from Scandinavian. 
we'll see what he's able to do. I don't know, Scandinavian's actually taking a lot of damage from this, from the siege tanks who are already down by the walrus, and walrus takes the supply lead for the first time since about minute two of the game. That was actually a terrible, terrible move for Scandinavian. Definitely lost a lot there that he did not need to. So Scandinavian currently is only ahead in worker supply. Uh, we have two tanks for the walrus, only one for Scandinavian, six vikings and two banshees for the walrus and only one medevac for Scandinavian. Still has the 28 marines for the walrus but 10 blue flame hellions for Scandinavian with double armories on the way, additional tech labs on these factories will be able to get out even more tank production if he needs to or Thor's do have a huge hellion run by by the walrus killing all of uh, Scandinavian's workers he does lose these banshees but definitely not too bad of a trade for uh, 16 additional workers killed so it's pretty huge when neither of these guys has the largest economy right now anyways The walrus definitely will have air superiority in any fight that occurs. Scandinavian is just now moving his starport over to the reactor, so we'll be able to get out that double medevac production. It was on the tech lab for a long time. And so, it's three tanks building at a time for the walrus for a little while. It'll be huge, and any uh, engagements they have will be tough to push all of these marines into that especially with no armor for a long time but plus one plus one already started for the walrus's mech force to have sensor towers out to watch out for any more scary drops from scandinavian looks like it does want to push across with this force again but it's going to be so squishy with only one medevac with only 25 energy on it with uh, this amount of tanks it's going to be pretty tough for uh, Scandinavian to get anything done. And all of these uh, Hellions somehow survive will probably actually get a lot of damage done at this base again because there's nothing over there. Scandinavian uh, boosting the tank over to see what he can do but already right off the bat we see four or five SCVs die and good micro from the walrus will uh, let him get a few more before he gets cleaned up. Ooh, close call. Scandinavian waited till right before the Whittlemine cooldown was up, before scanning and taking it out. And also right before his missile turret finished. Scandinavian does confirm that Walrus does not have the third base up and running yet. Walrus's army now has some Hellbats mixed in, which will definitely be a lot less squishy than any Hellions involved in the army, so once they actually go head-to-head, -head, be pretty good. So it looks like the Walrus wants to move out. Pretty decent tank spread and uh, defensive position for Scandinavian, but he only has two tanks to the 12 of the walrus. Vikings do land to soak up some actual extra damage and uh, do much but that was pretty rough fight for the Scandinavian. All of his bio just ran to the tank fire and pretty much got disintegrated. Do have an SCV repairing the tank for Scandinavian but even one SCV repairing one tank will not be enough to take on three at a time. We are down to one tank over here for Scandinavian. Does have a little bit of bio left, but still 10 tanks for the walrus is huge. And the walrus does manage to break out of this contain. Now to a 45 supply lead for the walrus. With two tanks at a time, four Hellions, and extra SCVs building for Walrus, big lead in economy with the 25-26 now worker lead. 
and more hellions continue to run by they're super squishy will die really quickly but Scandinavian does manage to catch his barracks which is the first good thing that's happened for him in recent times but Walrus still does have another one if he needs to throw down more factories which off of two base he's probably good with his production for now Scandinavian probably doesn't want to take this fight and he decides to just leave the game. No GG.